Boracay is the Philippines' best-known holiday island. Its white sand beaches and clear blue waters have made it a haven for tourists. Two million of them spent more than a billion dollars last year. While the tourism boom in recent decades has created jobs, it's also brought on rapid, unregulated development, and the island can't handle the strain. Its pristine shores have been tainted by raw sewage dumped into the ocean. President Rodrigo Duterte says Boracay has become a cesspool that needs to clean up its act. So the government is banning tourists for six months. It will take longer than six months to rehabilitate and sustain and save Boracay. But this is a good start because the major works that have to be done have to be done unhampered without the uh, presence of too many people on the island. The government says it will use the time to upgrade sewer lines, restore drainage systems and close down illegal structures. A six-month shutdown will cost the tourism industry $384 million. It's less than 1% of the country's GDP, but will threaten the livelihoods of thousands of locals. It's freaking me out. Even uh, my wife from Australia is freaking out, you know. It's like we, we, we cannot move on. I've been dreaming this building to build for many years, and then after 15 days, six months, your dream is gone. The government says some companies will receive compensation, but many people fear their businesses won't recover. Others are questioning whether six months is long enough to reverse decades of damage. They need to be transparent. What do they want to achieve in six months? Or else it is going to be a recurring problem over and over again. Residents and businesses will have to brace for tough times ahead. The hope is the Philippines' crown jewel of tourism will be restored and that everyone will benefit in the long run. Liz Maddock, TRT World.